Good morning and welcome to what is, I think my second what I eat in a day, but um, anyway, I'm really excited to be collaborating with Green Aware and today I'm gonna show you a typical what I eat in a day and also um, how I minimize food waste at home. As like a, my normal routine really consists of, I try and get up early, so I've trained already this morning. Um, I did my hot water and lemon, and now I'm having a green juice. I don't really eat any solid food until about 12. I roughly follow like a vegan sort of ketogenic plan, and that involves a tiny bit of intermittent fasting. So ideally speaking, I'll have my last meal at about eight, and then I kind of have like an eight hour eating window between say 12 noon and 8 p.m. So I'm gonna take you on a day of what I eat and hopefully give you a little bit of recipe inspiration and um, also show you what I compost and how useful and practical the Green Aware Little Caddy liners are at home. They make such a difference to my waist and make sure that I am able to compost effectively. So anyway, I'm gonna have this now and I will check back in with you shortly. So having the little caddy on my countertop is brilliant because it basically ensures anything that's suitable for composting goes in there and that's it. and so I've had my green juice, my coffee, and uh, what I love about that place is that they let you bring in keep cups, which is really cool. Um, and now I'm gonna have my breakfast. I uh, make a chia pudding that I really love, and it's so filling, because I put all these different toppings on it, so I'm gonna show you how I make it now. So first up, things like chia seeds, I buy these in bulk, uh, and then just fill glass jars. Like, it's really cool that there's loads of zero waste stores as well, so I buy these, almonds, nuts, seeds, that kind of thing, and I just reuse glass jars that I have. So anyway, these are the main ingredient, obviously. For, uh, <laughs> for dairy-free milks, I look for unsweetened ones, so this is a really nice, this is an organic one by Provomel. So that takes around 10 minutes to thaw. I really like, these are the Bonalon raspberries. The packaging is completely compostable as well, which is good. And then this is an organic Greek style yogurt, but there's no sugars in it as well. So it is perfect. And this can just be rinsed and recycled as well. So then I have just topped it with some of the almond butter and almonds and this is so filling and you can see the raspberries are starting to thaw. So that's my breakfast. Clearly did not enjoy that. <laughs> Honestly, it's so delicious. I am just putting on a wash. These are the, um, the Thea bamboo masks that I use and I think they're really good. And also a little tip that I got from uh, Jo Linehan was to use this for my washing as well. They actually, so far so good. The only thing is it, it's kind of neutral, like there's no scent, so your clothes don't have that sort of fresh washed kind of scent, but so far it's worked really well. Now I've just made a green tea. I love, um, this is the tea picks, the green tea, but what's kind of amazing is that all of the packaging is actually suitable for composting as well, so it's completely plastic free. So that's pretty cool. I love this green tea as well, it's really strong. It is absolutely pouring rain outside. But it's quite dark. Let me see if I can make this a bit brighter. 
god, now it's all gone crazy. Um, it's around four o'clock and I'm gonna have a snack and an on keto. What's really cool is you can have chocolate. I love really, really dark chocolate anyway, so. I'm gonna have some 100% dark chocolate and tahini, and then I'm also gonna make a little matcha tea. So uh, yeah, I'll show you what I how I do that. <laughs> And then I'm gonna have that. I love this chocolate. It is organic and fair trade, and it's a hundred percent. So it's really intense. And I have that with tahini. And um, this is the Frontier Foods one. It's really, really yummy. And uh, yeah, I have those two together. There is a little bit of weighing, but actually I quite like it. So I'm gonna have 20 grams of chocolate and my tahini. And there is my chocolate and tea, which I love. I'm just about to cook my dinner, but I wanted to show you. These are my Penny's Organic Jeans, which I love. And then this is by Stripe and Stare. And it's made from Tencel, and it's so soft. Um, and also really environmental, so I love this. So while I have a minute, I'm gonna make my dinner shortly, but I wanted to quickly chat about, like, I suppose, a few questions that people might have about the way that I eat and what happened was I as those of you who follow me on social media will know I'm a huge fan of different juice cleanses and what I found was naturally I started to want to make them kind of a bit greener and um, I became really sensitive to sugars and I find like a lot of people typically associate like a vegan diet with massive stacks of pancakes and loads of sweet potato fries and bowls of pasta. And the thing is, I've kind of done all that. And at the end of the day, unfortunately, it's just, it's not how my body feels well. So I started trying to research and see, was there a different way of doing it? And I became really fascinated. So how I eat now, and I kind of really only would do this maybe about four days of the week, then the rest of the week, and especially the weekends, I'm much more lax and I go with the flow and I enjoy, whatever is on offer if I'm with a friend or if we're out, obviously that's not happening at the moment, but um, typically how I structure my meals during the week is that there's a lot kind of focused on really healthy fats. So lots of nuts, lots of seeds, almonds, tahini. Um, I use a lot of coconut oil, really like gorgeous stir fries and then different vegan protein sources. So tofu and tempeh, which I'm gonna be showing you how to cook later on. But one thing that that really helps me with is um, because I have to plan my meals to do that, it also means I have much less food waste than I would if I, the way I used to shop was I'd kind of just browse and what do I like? And I kind of found that at the end of the week, because I hadn't really planned out exactly what I was gonna eat, there was sometimes food waste there. Whereas with this, for about four days a week, I tend to be quite structured. Um, and then in terms of other ways that I minimize like my plastic footprint is I will bulk buy in zero waste stores. Um, all my nuts, all my seeds, all my pulses. Um, dairy free milks, sometimes I make them myself, sometimes I don't, but they come in tetra packs and I just make sure that they're well rinsed out. And then otherwise the greenware bags are brilliant in terms of making sure that anything that can be composted is and I love that because especially if you are juicing you get so much pulp um, and they are so convenient as well especially because it's pouring rain outside but I will try and show you my little compost pile outside but definitely for me in terms of minimizing your food waste the most important thing is to have a structure and to have a plan and um, that's really uh, one reduce my food budget but two reduce any waste happening at home and Secondly, I'm also really conscious in terms of what I buy and things like say, for example, my tahini comes in a glass jar, which is easily recyclable. And I now avoid products that come in non-recyclable packaging. There are a few things that are unavoidable and I'll show you that the tempeh that I love at the moment comes in a plastic wrapper that isn't suitable for recycling. So if I find an alternative, I will buy that as long as there isn't a huge difference in price. But little things like that really make a difference for me. Anyway, I will show you what I'm eating for dinner 
shortly. I have to get back and do a little bit more work. Then I love, this is a vegan pesto, so I'm gonna add that to my courgette noodles. So I'm just gonna stir that pesto into my noodles. Then I'm just gonna add some soy sauce to my tempeh, and then it's ready. It's so yummy and crispy. So, <clears throat> There is my crispy tempeh, courgette, and then I added some avocado, and then I have one more thing I want to add on to. Um, these are hemp seeds. I buy these again in like a bulk store, and these are great because they are a complete vegan protein, so just adding a sprinkling of them on. And then that is my dinner. So I'm gonna enjoy this now. Another thing that I find compost really well is cardboard inserts. So I make sure to just add them into my little greenware bag. And usually I go through this about every two days. And it's great because um, there's no smells in my actual bin then. So that's really handy. So to track this all, I use an app called Keto. And it shows like I still eat nearly 1600 calories. And there's all the food. And I find tracking makes it really easy. And so you track your protein. So 70 grams of protein, loads of healthy fats, and nearly 1600 calories. So overall, I didn't track my water, which I should have done. But anyway, that was today and nearly finished. Then just at night time, I love these Pocket 3 Mint Teas. That can obviously go into your compost, degrades perfectly. And the tea bag as well. 